Over the past few days, people have been sending me information regarding the CERN experiment that will be conducted from December 17th through the 21st, so I checked it out. In addition to throwing a potential monkey wrench into the project I've been working on, more important are the implications that this, this test or experiment could have on the planet and everything that inhabits it. Here's what we know. The Hadrian Super Collider, also known as the LHC, or Large Hadrian Collider, began test operations in 2007. This facility emplo employs over 10,000 scientists visiting and resident from 33 countries at a cost of over $10 billion. <clears throat> we know from history that the PTBs, the governments, and scientific research don't get this kind of money and manpower thrown at it just for the sake of curiosity to uncover an elusive particle that gives all matter mass in the universe. These entities virtually spend no significant money towards the benefit of humanity, but rather on projects that are promoted to have these qualities, but in actuality only promote their agendas. We also know that projects of this magnitude are undertaken and funded when they have some sort of military or weaponry aspect to them, usually under the veil of some sort of scientific breakthrough. We know that the experiment in July we were told, revealed a type of signal. After the acceleration of protons to a trillion electron volts of energy, I can't however tell you the significance of this signal because its significance was not expanded on in my limited research. We know that all the data and relevant findings associated with the data associated with that data have been kept secret from the public and the scientific community outside of the large Hadrian Collider community. Why? We know that in July, after the LHC experiment, announcements were made all over the world that CERN has identified the Higgs boson, our God particle. A few months later, in October of 2012, CERN retracted that, stating, well, maybe we didn't actually find it. And in December, CERN announced that they would have to try and recreate the findings from July in order to be sure. We know that the representatives from the Vatican will be present at the LHC for the December 17th through 21st test. We know that these experiments create mutations in the standard model of physics, and the LHC physicists confirmed, or so they said, they now have an adequate understanding of the standard model of physics, and these tests represent a milestone in discovering the Higgs boson, or God particle, in that they would now have the ability to mutate or change that model. A realm they claim will, repre will represent a new physics model, which will open areas previously unexplored and therefore not fully understood, such as dark matter, dark energy, and extra dimensions. We know that by using proton acceleration and collision in conjunction with the creation of antiprotons, if these particles come into contact or matter comes into contact with antimatter, a 100% release of energy occurs, compared to a nuclear explosion or reaction, which only releases a fraction of its energy in that um, particular process in the standard model of physics. This, according to f some physicists, could, and I say this because it has never been tried on this scale, cause a rift or a tear or breach in the fabric of time-space as we know it, creating a gateway or breach into other dimensions, and some physicists caution that this test on this scale could even create a black hole. We know that CERN stands for the European Organization of Nuclear Research, which would actually be E-O-N-R, not C-E-R-N. But as, ha as we have seen in so many other cases, the elite use symbolism to tell us what they're doing without telling us what they're doing. CERN is short for CERNUNOS, an occult 
half man, half beast creature that will rise out of the depths of the earth. We know that in line with those same symbolic references, there stands a statue of Shiva or Vishnu from the Hindu representing the destroyer of worlds. Given this test coming up with CERN's LHC, there lies the potential to usher in a realm of new physics. So, what happens if something goes terribly wrong? It is clear that this new realm CERN references is a theater theoretical realm, and you cannot determine or predict the unexpected using the standard model of physics. And, as we noted earlier, this test is predicated on altering, or in their words, mutating that model. It is, or should be, becoming more and more apparent that these elites, these bloodlines that claim they are superior to the rest of humanity, these elites that worship Satan and follow a rigid occultist protocol, use deception and misdirection in conjunction with symbolism to work in the light and carry out demonic agendas of darkness. Could the pursuit of the Higgs boson or guard, God particle be just a cover story? Could CERN and the LHC actually be technology to open a gateway into a realm they may think they understand and we are not prepared for? Could the necessity for this test now been triggered by the awakening of the people? I don't know the answers to these questions. I do know that the magnitude of data collected from the July test could not have been fully analyzed in five months and they refuse to share this data and its findings with the rest of the scientific community outside of the CERN circle. They are obviously aware of something we are not. If something does go terribly wrong with this test from December 17th through the 21st and I hope this doesn't happen you should be aware that in 2014, CERN intends to run another experiment, running the LHC at full power. Is the projected 2014 test a distraction? Is the LHC going to be run at full power now? This organization is messing with a realm of physics they don't fully understand yet. And because of this, the ramifications of an unpredictable reaction or event will probably be outside of their control. Are you still sleeping? Are you awake yet? 